Hello and welcome. My name is William and today I wanted to share with you the story of the very first American Muslim cowboy. Assalamu alaikum. Howdy everybody. Some of you might know me uh, as the Muslim cowboy. And no, we're not going to talk about Brandon today, maybe in another video. We're going to head back in time to the 19th century, follow the steps of a man called Philip Tedrow. In 1856, in the middle of the American gold rush, the US Army decided to strengthen a trade route between California and Texas but experimenting with using camels instead of horses. Camels were assumed to be much stronger than horses and more suitable for the harsh climate of the American Southwest. And because it's not a native species to the US, they needed to play with their political ties with the Ottomans to inquire about where to find camels. In the end, they managed to buy 33 camels from Cairo, from Tunis, from Izmir, and got them shipped to the port of Indianola in Texas. So now they had camels, but who's gonna drive them? And this is when Philip Tedrow comes into play. Philip was born in 1828 in the city of Smyrna, so now Izmir in modern Turkey, to a Greek mother and a Christian Syrian dad. He was uh, working as a camel breeder and a camel trainer back then. He even used to serve the French army in Algiers before signing up with the US in 1856. When he arrived in Indianola in Texas, he joined seven other men who would form the very first US Camel Corps. In the meantime, it is said that Philip Tedrow embraced Islam and accomplished his Hajj, and since then was known as Hajj Ali. But the problem is, in America, not everyone knows how to pronounce Hajj Ali, so it became distorted and he got to be known under the name of Hi Jolly, so Haji Ali, Hi Jolly. The first round trip from Texas to California and back was very successful. However, the huge camels would scare other animals used by the US Army, such as donkeys, mules, and horses, and it became a concern. Plus, uh, with the Civil War, the funds were very, very short for the US Camel Corps and the experiment was abandoned eventually in 1864. From there, Haji Ali ran a more casual freight service. He tried to use the camels again, didn't work that much. He tried with horses and he signed up with the army. He was discharged once in 1870, signed up again in, I think, 1885. Um, he eventually acquired the US citizenship and got married and he had two kids with his wife. In his final years, he moved to the town of Quartzsite in Arizona, where he would do some mining works, he would work for the US government a little bit, and this until his death at the age of 74 in 1902. In 1935, the governor of Arizona decided to erect a monument in his memory, which people can still see uh, in the town of Quartzsite in Arizona, and it is at the exact place Haji Ali was buried. Since then, the incredible adventures of Haji Ali have been the subject of a few movies. Movies such as A Southwest Passage in 54, there's a folk song called Hi Jolly, and more recently, a certain Sheikh Abdul Hakim Murad from Cambridge also wrote and composed a whole song in memory of Haji Ali. You'll find all the links in the description. I just find it fascinating to uncover these hidden pieces of Muslim history in these obscure parts of the American history and even the, more precisely, the history of the US Army compared to now the treatment offered to American Muslims by the media and some politicians. It shows that there was a time in history where it seemed that people's religion didn't really matter as long as you were a good person, you had the skills, the experience, and you were doing a good job, there was no reasons to exclude people from the idea of America. But this is another discussion. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. And again, do not subscribe to this channel. This is not a history channel. There is much better channels out there. However, if you don't like cowboys, if you don't like Muslims, or if you don't like Abdel Hakim Murad, then please feel free to comment on this video because any hateful comment boosts my engagement rates to the algorithm. So thank you very much for your contribution. And again, take care of each other.